Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can fix this error. The error that we get on Android devices, that is unfortunately uh, the process com.android.systemui has stopped. Okay, so how we can fix this error? I'm going to show you a couple of fixes and you can try that out. And let's see if this, you know, fixes your issue or not. Okay, so the fixed one we have is so sometimes if your battery is less than 20% so that might be the problem so you just need to plug in and charge your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay so suppose uh, this fix doesn't work for you then you can try this fix too and you have to try you have to sorry uh, disable any app service activated in accessibility settings okay so guys you just need to go to the settings of your phone and find her uh, accessibility so let me find that here I have accessibility just tap on it and find here if any apps service activated so you just need to turn it off by tapping on it okay so after that you need to restart your phone and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay so guys suppose you know this fix to also you know you know doesn't work for you then you can try this you know fix 3 and you have to get rid of any third party apps that might be uh, you know the problem okay so if you have installed recently some app and uh, so you can uninstall that and try that if you know fixes your issue or not okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find her apps or application manager okay in order to you know uninstall the you know app and find her go there to all tabs and find here uh, you know the app okay that was that is causing you the problem okay so you just suppose if you installed uh, you know some app recently so you can find it over here and just uninstall it and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay so in order to do that you just need to tap on it and just tap on uninstall okay and also alternatively you can you know just you know uh, over here suppose if I want to uninstall this Adobe Acrobat so I just need to you know long tap you know this uh, Adobe Acrobat and I get this uninstall option. So just draw, drop on it, uh, drop there on uninstall and it will do the uninst uninstall for you. Okay. As you can see. So you can also do this, you know, by, via this method. Okay, guys. And after that, you need to restart your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay guys so suppose you know this you know fix 3 also doesn't work for you then you can try this fix 4 and in this you know fix uh, you have to you know wipe the device you know cash petition okay so uh, so the step one is you have to switch off the device and step two you have to boot the device into you know recovery mode okay so on most you know devices it is done by you know the pressing and holding the power you know button volume up and home buttons simultaneously okay and it's a home button simultaneously okay so uh, so and after that you will you know get your you know recovery mode and after that you need to use the volume rocker to highlight the web wipe cache partition option so let me show you you'll get this you know this type of menu and you have to you know just highlight this wipe cache you know partition by using volume uh, you know the you know, button okay and after that you know you know you just need to press the power button to confirm the selection okay and just you know wipe it out and just start your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay so suppose if you know this you know fix 4 also doesn't work for you but in most of the cases uh, it, it works uh, the, you know any of this method you know the 
uh, you know fix one two or three or four 99 percent it works but suppose if you know in worst cases it doesn't work okay so you just try this you know fix five that is you have to do a factory data reset okay so just you know go to the settings of your phone and find here backup and reset so let me find that here just tap on backup and reset and guys before doing factory data reset uh, you must take you know backup okay so once you're done you know taking backup you just need to tap on factory data reset and just tap on reset phone okay and let's see if this fixes your issue or not so guys so that's it for this video and uh, please let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not and i will catch you in my another videos thanks for watching bye bye take care